There are 65,000 Sri Lankan refugees in Tamil Nadu refugee camp. Government is paying children's school fees, their electricity bills, providing them with medical facilities and pension. Sri Lankan refugees get more facilities than Indian citizens get. Refugees are saying there is human trafficking in Tamil Nadu and they don't have freedom here. Mr. Maria Susa Isankarias, director of organization for Elam's refugee rehabilitation says they don't have many restrictions here. They have to inform police only if someone staying outside the camp at night. But still they want to migrate to Australia. He further adds all these things are fake stories. The people who are living in the camp are enjoying more benefits than the people who have been living here about five years, five years or ten years back in India, Indian camp. They say no one who are going by the, coming by the boat will not be allowed into Australia. Second, they will be sent to Nauru Island. Australia has already decided that they will not allow these refugees. India is trying to send them back to Sri Lanka. One such refugee from Sri Lanka is Ophelia Monami, who is born here and now graduated in engineering, says that she don't want to go back to Sri Lanka. My worry is always in the country, but uh, what we want is before going to Sri Lanka, we will be very strong in everything, in education. Education is the main important thing, okay? so we, we must be very strong as well as we do that. Indian government gave money to Sri Lankan government to build the houses for the refugees who live in India. But till now they have built only 1,000 houses.